What's the critics pick of movie popcorn? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Right off the top, you should know that our new debut novel, The Lost Causes of Bleak Creek, is available for pre-order right now. It's a thriller with humor and supernatural elements, Ooh. and the teaser just launched, so make sure you check that out. Pre-order your copy now at bleakcreek.com. Bleakcreek.com. Hey, the Oscars are this Sunday, which means you've only got a few days to hit the theaters and watch every single film nominated for Best Sound Mixing. Get it in. Now, I think that even the worst movie can be redeemed by a tasty bucket of popcorn. I would go and watch a root canal if they serve fresh, delicious, buttery popcorn there. In fact, I would get a root canal if they could figure out a way to feed me popcorn during um, it. Okay. But no matter how hard your Meemaw tries, homemade or microwave popcorn just doesn't stack up. But which movie theater popcorn is the best? Let's find out. It's time for which popcorn is the top corn? Which butter makes our hearts flutter? Which cinema will win them up? Okay, we're gonna taste popcorn from six different theater chains, and because of the nature of movie theaters, we don't have six huge national chains to choose from. We've got four national and two regional: Pacific, Cinemark, AMC, ArcLight, Limley, and Regal. And then we'll place them on the ranking board behind us. You notice our rankings are all based on films from last year, starting with the nastiest. We've got Popcornian Crapsody, Crud 2, Sorry to Butter You, A Simple Flavor, A Star is Corn, mm. and The Favorite. Let's taste the popcorn. Round one. Okay, we're starting with Pacific. This is a regional Southern California chain. Been around since 1978. The way we're gonna be doing this is we actually gathered the butter, or whatever it is, uh, from each theater, and uh -huh. I'm gonna just spray a, you know, a generous layer on top. Yeah, and we're guessing that this is most likely um, the Flavor Coal brand of orange butter product that they use at a lot of these theaters. Um, we're guessing that's what they use specifically. But we're, we got it from them, so we right. took the guesswork out. Smells like I'm about to nestle in and enjoy mm. myself for two hours. I mean, that's good. I think this is gonna be very difficult to se to separate one from the next. I don't know, to hear Stevie talk about it, she, she knows what her favorite is. Yeah, when we talked about doing this, she was like, no, 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 there's definitely one that's better than the rest. Okay. So let's just start by putting this one right in the, in the middle. middle. We'll probably have to do some retaste, but for now, three and a half, because Pacific is the first one. Guys, I'm here, you know. I know. Round, Round two. two. Okay, so next we have Sinmark. A couple of uh, distinctions here. Instead of using coconut oil, they use canola oil to pop it, and they use anhydrous butter fat, which is butter with all the water and milk solids removed. And according to Yelp review from Suppo, he says that the popcorn here is very addicting as opposed to everywhere else. Wow. He normally gets underwhelmed by the Now popcorn. there's a difference. There's a visual difference. There's almost a, a uniformity to this that I didn't see in the first one. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm, you're saying, you're saying you can look at it and tell a difference? It's, it's more uniform. There's less yellow pieces in that. So this, is, this has got the more butter infused Pops. Mm. Mm. That's good. I want to like this more because of the science behind it, but having just tasted Pacific again, I actually think that Pacific has a better flavor. I think really? that the oil, I think the oil that they use for that makes a better popcorn flavor. Okay, so you want to put this ahead? You want to put you this don't ahead. agree? No, I don't. I actually think this tastes burnt. This doesn't have nearly as much taste to me. Less salt. Not nearly as much taste. Like it's not even comparable. Like there's a the more so I, weird. I'm getting the exact opposite um, this experience. Is, this tastes like nothing to me. This is salt. This is much more flavorful to me. I don't know what it is. It's butterier. You also like dog food. Saltier. Uh, well, just the. I don't know. I think we're gonna have to duke it out. Let's just put them. Let's put them right next to each other for now. This could be a problem. We might have different popcorn palettes. Uh oh. Round three. Okay, now we've got the largest theater chain in America, AMC, with 8,200 screens in the US. Uh, go ahead and spray some butter on there. It's popped in uh, coconut oil, and uh, a Yelper in Inglewood said, this popcorn sucks and the tickets are expensive. Our show should have been discounted as a matinee. 
Ugh. Wow. I don't want to be... I don't want to be overly influenced by that Yelp review, but... If I get a lot of the spray, of course it tastes good, because it's like that flavor call stuff, but... There's a blandness and almost a, a fakeness to this. It's flat. Like, I'm, we're not even getting anything to disagree on. Yeah, this you is know? Yeah. clearly worse than the other two, so. Yeah. Clearly. Wow. Crapsity is what I'm predicting. They're cutting a lot of corners there at the largest theater, Gene. Round four. Arclight is a small national chain with theaters in LA, Chicago, DC, and San Diego. They pride themselves on a higher quality control and um, just a better movie going experience. Does that apply to the popcorn as well? Now, this is this is where we watch movies. I mean, we typically will only go to the Arclight to watch movies. Right, if, you get your reserved seats and they, they, they stay in the theater and check to make sure it's it's playing correctly, sounding correctly, looking correctly, and that the that the the curtains aren't coming in. Um, Has that ever happened in a theater for you? I've been in a freaking movie and they the curtains were in a little bit, and it was like I was watching it in four three, like an old YouTube video. Um, there, it's made with real butter. First of all, it is distinctly different than all the rest, and it's it reminds me of like. I'm thinking about all the movies I've seen over the past couple of years because this is the popcorn that I get, but I've never really stopped to think about what it tastes like. No. I just eat it without thinking. Mm-hmm. That's the great thing about popcorn. Now, Pacific Theaters owns Arclight. Doesn't involve Arclight. the brain. Pacific Theaters owns Arclight, but... Oops, missed my mouth. That's a different popcorn. Yeah, I really like this, but I'm biased because I really like the Arclight experience. I don't like this. You don't like it? What do you not like about it? it That's tastes, right, Rhett. That's right, Rhett. You, it you tastes tell like him. Cinemark. It tastes like the one I don't like. We oh, have a diametrically right. opposed opinion when it comes to popcorn. I don't think we're going to be able to, to stick to our ranking. Because mm -hmm. Pacific, the bigger owner of Arclight, makes better popcorn. And I think that- If you like burnt popcorn, you like Pacific. No, okay. It has a burn. So if you're the kind of person that when you get down to the end of your popcorn and there's those little half pop kernels and you enjoy those, you're like me, you have a popcorn palate like me, and I prefer Pacific. If you don't like that, then you have the opposite thing. So we're gonna basically have to just reverse the whole scale. What I don't you know say? what we're gonna do. Round five. Okay, now we've got the Limley. This is another regional chain. This is like a family-run art house theater. Uh, established in 1938. I go to the one in Pasadena sometimes, and you just feel fancy. Uh, you just feel like, like you've got taste. I'm just going to see an indie. I enjoy it's just an indie. art. Normal folk Moving don't enjoy pictures these. pictures uh, on a screen. Al Bondigas over in Pasadena said, this is the best popcorn in Pasadena. He also said, I often go by just to get the popcorn. Yummy. <laughs> Has anyone else, have you ever thought about doing that? Oh, uh oh. It's light. It is fluffy. It's real butter. Uh -oh. Nothing tastes burnt to me. Well, I'm liking it. Of course, I'm liking this, and I'm comparing it to that. Hold up, sucker. I'll even compare it to to your favorite. That's a tap. Don't get it. Um, that's good. We agree on that. This is better than all the rest. And you, you know what I like too? I like the design of their bucket. It must not just be about the burnt part. What do you like about it? It has the most flavor. I'm looking for flavor because popcorn is such a uniform experience. You want to be. You wanna be reminded what's happening every once in a while. I feel sophisticated. Round six. All right, now we have Regal, which is the second largest theater chain, and uh, they also operate Edwards and United Artists, but we can't confirm that they have the same popcorn. Uh, it's popped in coconut oil and does use flavor call. <clears throat> Give it a nice little. Again, it's not that I don't like the this buttery flavor, but. I think once I've had real butter, I don't like this as much. It's pretty middle of the road for me. Yeah, yeah. It's not singing any high notes. 
but it's not making me run out of the place. Um, okay. I All think right. this is this is. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm put. I'm loving this, you're loving that. This is the area of dissension and disagreement. I'm putting it below that just because I'm put, I like these. You're putting it below that because you like that. I think you might want to put it here. I probably would. But as a compromise, let's just put it here. And let's then shifty, shifty, shifty. Shift all of this up here. There we go. This is going to work. Here we go, and then yeah, we'll just leave a big gap there. Okay, so as you can see, it's, the conclusion is clear. Uh, <laughs> at least with the top, we both agree that the best popcorn is at Limley, which unfortunately is a regional chain. And where we get into where you, the ones you can get nationwide in Cinemark and Pacific, you're just gonna have to make your own decision. Go see a movie, why don't you? Feed the economy, stupid. Be artful, come on, I'm gonna spend the next 25 days getting kernels out of my gums. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Nico. I'm Colton. We're in a gas station parking lot. And it's, and it's time, time to, to spin Let's the talk way. about that. Come on! <laughs> just just spin it. Yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, it's me. not. We Click gotta... the top link to watch us eat some viewer submitted popcorn hacks and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel lands. Having a naked phone is embarrassing but you can avoid that by popping into mythical.store and buying some of our pop sockets.